Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome to the Tropical Garden Guy channel. Today we're going to talk about the type of potting soil I make to grow avocados for the long term in pots. But first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell, any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I get back to everybody with their comments and questions. So let's take a look as I take you through the steps of making your own avocado potting soil. So let's take a quick look at the two avocado trees that I planted about two years ago. I know I put this in one of my videos fairly recently, but let's go over it one more time. We have these two avocado trees, this approximately the same age, that I when I planted in my favorite plant planter mix, um, Miracle Grow Moisture Control. And it's great for short term, but these two trees have been in the pot for a full two years. And as you can see, this one right here, which is in my homemade potting soil mix, it's doing very good. And we come over here and we look at this one and it was in my uh, miracle Grow, and it's just not doing very good. And I, you know, it, it's a classic example. The, the, the potting soil is breaking down in the bottom and it's getting root rot, I, I believe. Whatever the case, it's just not good in my opinion, to grow avocados long-term using store-bought avocado or potting soil. Now, with the type that I use, it's mainly a mineral-based potting soil, though there is a little bit of peat moss in it for, to, to make it a little more lighter. But here's what I have. I use this peat moss, just three ingredients, all-purpose, washed sand, you want it washed sand because you don't want uh, the salt that sometimes sand can have in it. And then I use perlite. And the other one that I use to add a little beneficial bacteria, mycorrhiza, is I use this Holytone fertilizer. And it has a little, a little bit of unique things in there that uh, wouldn't be found in the ingredients that I'm using. So that's it. Now let's just take a look at how we do this. So here we have our three main ingredients partitioned out in equal amounts. We have our washed sand here. We have our perlite here and our peat moss here. Now the first thing I wanted to let you guys know is that you need to use your PPEs. That is, use a dust mask, at least a dust mask, or something of this nature to, to protect yourself against this especially. This is very harsh on your lungs. You want to make sure you're wearing a, a face mask. The other thing is, um, you want them e in equal amounts. You can get these at uh, Lowe's or uh, Home Depot or anything. Most garden centers have these ingredients. But you want, I like to dampen them down a little bit. That way it keeps the dust down. So you want to put them into the, into a container. Equal amounts. Equal amounts of sand. Equal amounts. Oh, there's still a little bit of dust on that. And, uh, and, and peat moss. So we will add a little bit of water, like I said, to keep that dust down. You don't want to add too much, but you just want to keep that dust down. And the other ingredient I use is this holytone. Now for this small amount, this will make fill a, a one gallon container. I'm going to use maybe, oh, maybe this much. Maybe a tablespoon. And let's mix it in. And again, you need to use your P PPEs, your personal protection equipment. You mix it all up, and as you can see, it's damp. But that's about, you want to make sure that everything gets fairly damp and mixed in. Now, this amount is about enough for a one gallon pot. Obviously, you if you're going to do a five gallon or 15 gallon, you're going to be wanting to mix quite a bit more of each ingredients, but you get the idea. We want to use 
equal ingredients, potting peat moss, perlite, and washed sand. For the fertilizer, a little holytone with mycorrhiza added into it. Easy peasy. And that's it. Pretty simple, huh? My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell, comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. You have a wonderful day.